All right, here we are. We are taking off on another trip. I thought I would show you guys um, our walk down to the marina. Uh, so this is our promenade. As you can see, nobody is out because it's very early. It's 8 a.m. in Spain, which is like 5 a.m. in the States. And it is totally flat. So I think this is not going to be necessarily a sail. This is going to be more like a um, float and we're going fishing. So it should be a really excellent fishing day. You can kind of see Terry Lynn and Biscuit down there. Oh, here comes Biscuit. Hey Biscuit, are you ready to go boating? I'm ready to go boating now. And that's it, so this is our walk. It's about ooh, one and a half kilometers. All right, we are out on the water. It's about 10 a.m. And uh, a little later than what we had planned on leaving. And so I'm making breakfast down here. Got some uh, water going for tea and coffee. Doing something super simple today. Gonna do some bread, some cream cheese, some hard boiled eggs that we boiled last night. All right, well we got a little bit of wind actually, which uh, is nice. So we're just drifting along. Just had breakfast. Sun's starting to come out. This is having a good time. Terry Lynn's probably cleaning up the disaster down below. Very peaceful day. dire streets, loving every single person that I meet, thinking about the different ways that make up a day. There never has to be another end in sight. I could keep running for the rest of my life. You want to see it? This is us entering into our very first river marina. So we only have about a hundred meters uh, up this river to get to the harbor. So. It's very shallow, so wish us luck. I can tell you how to get off of here. Oh. We're going to take the dinghy, well, they're probably going to come get us, but we're going to take the dinghy over there, we're going to attach it to the boom, mm -hmm. and we're going to pull it sideways. <sighs> Marina Garda Mar del Segura, Las Dunas. Marina Garda Mar del Segura, Las Dunas. This is Smiler, over. We have run aground, we are in the channel. Okay, so when you come to the right in the last station, please. <laughs> uh, we are stuck, we cannot move. You say you can move? Correct. No, we cannot move, we have run aground. Okay, so you go, you don't come to the marina walk. I mean, but we, you are touching the land or you have a problem with your, with your boat? No problem with the boat. We no on. problem with the boat. We are on land. We are free. That was intense. Couldn't film it. We're going to try this again because this is where we are. Uh, so we ended up tying a line to the mast and the little boat from the marina pulled out sideways off of the side of our boat that tilted us to get our keel off the sand. And I'm sure he's waiting to see what happens next. <laughs> how, you, how you feeling? <laughs> how you feeling? Sailing. <laughs> well, <laughs> obviously we made it. Biscuit is uh, really happy to not be on the boat at the moment. And after all of that little getting stuck parade, this was the birth they gave us. I wonder if it's punishment. I don't know, but we did actually get in very easily. But at the moment we saw the slip, it was like, really? Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of room. Uh, but of course, you know my expert driving skills. <laughs> Anyway, I think we all know what time it is. <laughs> that was intense, dude. The whole thing was intense. <laughs> the getting stuck on the sand, and then, by the way, I came up with a solution. Thank you very much. 
Tell us what it was. Memory from my childhood when we got stuck on something. Uh, we tied a line to the um, mast, and then the boat from the marina came out and went out sideways, tilted us so the keel came off, and we hit the engine. And I feel pretty proud about that, actually. Wait a second. Is this the walkway? Is that the walkway? I didn't know this was here. We're only paying 10 euros a night to be here in this harbor, although it was interesting to get into, and our slip was very, very slender, but we did it. And uh, oh my god, look at this. It's gorgeous. Buenos dias. It's our morning here and guess what we decided to do? Stay another night. So it turns out that as we're finding as we discover new marinas up and down the coast that um, they all have these walkways that are quite awesome. Anyway this one's pretty cool. Uh, this goes all the way into town which is about almost two kilometers away. So we've got a two kilometer walkway. Beautiful which I can push the dog cart on. Uh, which is good because you know Bisca is going to quit eventually and it cuts through this like pygmy forest It's a pygmy forest of palm tr baby palm trees and little shore pines It's there. Oh, oh my god. There's wildlife So uh, yeah, this is awesome Gardamar del Segura who would have thought we had no idea this was here uh, Which is why we had originally only planned to stay for one night and now we're gonna be here for two nights and um and it's, and it's the cheapest one so far. It's 10 euros per night. I mean, this is great, great camping spot. And uh, so we're gonna walk into town, probably have some lunch, pick up some supplies for dinner. I'm sure we need wine. And that's about it. Okay, you wanna say anything, Biscuit? Boat camping's the best. So this entire area between the marina and town and the town's very interesting too, so I can't wait to show you that. Is actually a um, like an ecosystem rehabilitation zone. Uh, but yeah, the, all of these palm trees are all miniature. Everything out here is small, including that. Me. And uh, so it's a very cool area to walk in. Obviously, you have to stay on this very nice pathway. Can't walk off the pathway. Uh, it's also bird habitats, wetland, migratory birds. And when we get up here, we're going to show you some old fishing villages. I've been walking around these dire streets, loving every single person that I meet, thinking about the different ways that make up a day. There never has to be another end in sight. I could keep running for the rest of my life. You want to see it? How's that Patatas Bravas? <laughs> Muy bien. Uh, so, well, we made it into town and um, we, well, we came to the first bar and we saw that it's only one euro for a Kanye. I'll go ahead and zoom that in for you so you can see that I'm not lying. It's one euro. And of course, it comes with a tapa. So today we're having a uh, patatas bravas, which is pretty typical here. On the Canary Islands, they were totally different. I have to say I actually preferred them on the Canary Islands. They're little salty potatoes, whole. These guys are french fries. I'm eating them all. Uh-oh. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> all right, so we made it into town and uh, this is what town looks like. Well, this is the promenade. It's full of restaurants and bars and everything. So it's a very nice place. We forgot how much there actually is to do in Gardamar de la Segura. So we just had a caña and now we're looking for lunch. It's so funny how they separate all the ingredients. Mm. 
All right. <clears throat> I have nothing to say. All right, well, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. We just had our lunch, which was lovely. It was a 10-year-old um, pizza with a six-year-old bottle of wine. But they also gave us tapas, and they also gave us some limoncello at the end. Because, you know, it's Spain. Anyway, we're walking back. There is nothing about a foreign place familiar to me. Not even a face, not even a word that I can say. So where do you want to be tonight? There's a city high above the clouds where no one goes, surrounded by wind and rain and snow. This is like a boat and a bar together. We're right on the water on the opening to the river. And I imagine they open these tents up in the summer. Um, it's very, very cool. There's nobody here because it's November, Thursday night. <laughs> Buenos dias. Well, it's always sad when the trip comes to an end. We uh, sort of were tempted, tempted to uh, stay one more day, but uh, tomorrow there's high seas, as yeah, the next day. So, you know, it's time to go. Uh, but who would have thought Gardamar was so cool? Uh, we thought there would be nothing to do here. And it turns out that there's a lot to do with that walkway that leads you into town. Anyway, it's morning. It's about 8.30, and uh, we're going to head out here. I'm not doing any big breakfast this morning. <clears throat> and let's see what's going on in here. Ah, my deckhand is squapping the deck, or whatever you call it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's our spot again. I like these old-fashioned bike posts, too. They're pretty cool. Ah. Well, we made it out of the harbor, <laughs> and there's where we were. There's all those little shacks on the beach. There's a bigger part of town that we had lunch in yesterday. Beautiful morning, light winds, about five knots coming off the shore. In about an hour and a half, uh, the winds are supposed to change. They'll be actually coming from the sea, and they'll be a little heavier, about 13 knots. Terry Lynn's. Captain. Steering. Biscuit's trying to get more treats. Biscuits are and treats. And I am fishing. Yay. And that's about it. I think we made it back just in time, Biscuit. What do you think? 
looks like a storm is a brewing. There's white caps, the wind has picked up quite a bit. And uh, Tony's up there securing everything. Taking the sails down in the wind is fun, <laughs> sort of. And uh, that's it. We're back in Tona Vieja, heading back into the jetty. Land, putting the fenders over. We made it! <laughs> it's kind of a dark sky behind you. Yeah, just in time. <laughs> I think it's gonna get kidding, kind of nasty.